hacked hosting! I hacked Parler! I hacked Gab! I hacked Truth Social! I hacked Go! Gibson, go! I don't care! Hi folks, welcome to Chris Goes Corner. Hi folks, welcome back. On Twitter, Libs of TikTok. Great, great site, uh, great channel they have. I believe they have one on YouTube. I know they have a Rumble account. They're showing some of the back crap crazy people out there and their ideology that are running this country. You're going to say, well, John, these people you're going to show aren't running this country. No, but the ideology is they are now running the biggest economy in the world and the most powerful military in the world. And they have a say over 300 million people. And what happens to them and their children, they're in charge of their children. Let's uh, let's scroll let's scroll down. Now, this is one here that I've seen before, but I think it illustrates for what's coming up here. So let's uh, let's listen to part of it. This is evil. This is wrong. The Republicans have to stop. I'm terrified. Listen to me, Republicans. Listen. You are the people in history they warned us about. Okay. And there you have it. There's a well-said citizen in the United States. Now, here's one here. We all know that the Give, Send, Go, the new money account for the Canadian uh, Freedom Convoy, since GoFundMe basically screwed them over, Give, Send, Go is a Christian group that basically does the same thing as Go fund me. Well, somebody, somebody broke into their website and got the list of all the donors to the truck driver. And so now that's public record. So now you have a reporter from the Salt Lake Tribune sent an email. Of course, they got their email addresses too. Your name and email address appeared in leaked data from Give, Send, Go contributions to the Canadian Trucking Convoy. Your name appeared to be associated with a $50 donation. Can the email or call me to confirm this match your record? Why did you decide to donate? Thanks in advance. I have the honor to be your obedient servant, Brian Schott. Yeah. Okay, Brian. And I understand, too, that if you gave money in Canada, there are emergency procedures they put in by the prime minister. The uh, I won't even go into it. That if you gave, they're freezing your account. In some cases. And there I'm reaching out to people who appeared in the Canadian Truck and Donation list. Some of the replies have been aggressive to put it mildly. Do you think? They're pissed. And now you're harassing them. There's another beauty here. Set to me by a parent. Kids in Vermont school forced to eat lunch outside because of COVID. It was two degrees. Those of you outside the United States, that's two degrees Fahrenheit. That's 30 degrees below freezing. So that would mean roughly 25, 28 Minus 25, minus 28 Celsius. Yeah, yeah, no, they're not crazy. They're not authoritarians. They're not power hungry. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh, sure, uh uh-huh. And the People's Republic of Vermont, no less. Now, here's another beauty. Here's another beauty. This lady, go before a school board. Now, I used to be a city councilman, so I've ran meetings many times before. Used to be the council president. We had public comment as well. She's showing a video that she has of some school board members, and I believe the school superintendent now wearing a mask. So she's basically calling them out in their hypocrisy, and look what happens. Here's a picture of you right here on Facebook with a crowd of people. That's it. With no mask on. Uh, this is my time, and I don't interrupt you. Here's another picture. And she's gavel out of order. Why? Because she's berating them. And they're, they're, how dare you? How dare you do that? Unless you're going to talk about a student or student issues, we want no part of it. Well, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here, and look what happens. I would like you to yeah, she's got a right. You can talk about something that is. Is there something about our students? Who and like there to comes law to enforcement. So this big cop is going to move that woman because the school board didn't like what she had to say. Believe me, as a city councilman, there's a lot of things I didn't want people to say in the public comment. I've never gavel them out of order. I've asked a couple of people over the years to tone down the language of the rhetoric a little bit, but I've never told them to stop. Now, I'm hoping this is real, that this is in Photoshop, and I see the shadow from the sign above. Whoever did this, I have to give them this. Yeah. Yeah, very well done. Oh, that, that's great. That's a beauty. Here's a beauty. My son attends Thurston High School. Today he was escorted from class for COVID exposure. The woman who escorted him was Kimberly Pelster, 
the ass principal. I like that. It's supposed to be assistant. I like her style, though. On the way to the office, she asked him if he had vaxxed, was vaxxed. He said no. Then she asked his age. He said 15. Then she proceeded to tell him he can choose to get vaxxed if he wanted to without telling his parents. You can get an abortion, too, in many states without telling your parents. Isn't that, isn't that open of them? This one here I really won't go into because it was just, I mean, I don't have enough Dramamine for the nauseousness. She's trying to explain how toxic masculinity is when men won't use reusable bags and keep using the old plastic bags. And it's because of their male toxic masculinity. Here's a real beauty. County of Los Angeles Fire Department is suspending people for three days without pay because they wouldn't go along with their COVD regulation. But look at the bottom part of the yellow. It says, the current COVID purge, a three-day suspension without pay, will be served at a future date because they are currently understaffed. So we're going to screw you over, but we're going to do it at our convenience. We just thought we'd like to let you know. Wow, wonderful people they are. Here's one from a school. From here on out, Rebecca will say Smith. Shall be referred to as Evan Smith. He, they. He will use the girls' bathroom facilities. All students and staff may know. There will not be an announcement in class. Parents don't don't know and don't inform them, basically, is what it says, explaining why there's different names on the sheet, and you see the name of the school up here, Pasquale San. You scroll down, and guess what? Once they got caught, the school has now deleted their Twitter account. (laughs) Yeah, what a bunch of scumbags. Now, this one here is short. Somebody come into, I assume it's a school, looks like, they were assaulted, this parent who wasn't wearing a mask. Look at these guys. Look at the size of this woman. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why are you assaulting those people? Why are you assaulting them? Yeah, those are the people in charge of teaching your children. Now, you're going to love this has hat. I think it's self-explanatory. By the way, this person has a million followers on TikTok. Hello, guys. I just wanted to get on here really quick and offer a sincere apology. Um, These past few weeks, I made a few remarks that were unthoughtful and just overall discriminatory. I did refer to white people as aardvarks. Um, pink nipple bitches. I have called white women in the past struggling actresses and I do feel as though there is a better way these messages that I'm trying to get across can be conveyed and so what I really meant to say was you crystal methamphetamine powdered iguanas can suck one. How impressive. How impressive. I'm sure his mother's real proud of him. This is a million followers. This is what young people follow. Look at this genius with all the masks. Now, let me give you a fair warning now on the language. This is the asshat that supposedly hacked into Give, Send, Go. He's Canadian. And he is bragging about it. And look at the way his body moves and the look in his eyes and his face. These people are nuts. You know, I guess the, the video speaks for itself. Now, be careful now because there is language involved. Fair warning. <laughs> Nothing scares me. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing scares me. Nothing. <laughs> yes, I doxed the truckers. I did it. It was me. I had to give send go, baby. And I do it again. I did it. I did it. Come at me. What are you going to do? These are the people that are in charge of major things. This guy exposed tens of thousands of people to an illegal order from Canada. Look how insane and twisted he is. Look how his body turns and contorts. These people are nuts. These people are nuts. What are you going to do to me, huh? I mean, look at him like twisting and turning or whatever the hell he, she, they, it. Look at him turning and twisting. They're insane. They're insane. They should be put in an asylum or heavily medicated. And millions of people, especially young people, follow asshats like this. I hacked Epic Hosting! I hacked Parlor! I hacked Gab! I hacked Truth Social! I hacked Go Gibson Go! I don't care! And there you have the ideology that is now running this country. Let's leave it off on that fine note. Good Lord. Let's see what happens. They're losing and they know it. I hope this stands. I hope they continue losing. Until next time, goodbye and good luck. Mm